Hello, welcome to the Battling Barrow and a, another terrain making video. Um, in about two days time, I'm going to be running the Sinister Secret Assault Marsh. And the second part of that is set on a ship. I've got ship models here, I've built loads. I was, every year I seem to do a ship building video now apparently. Originally it's for Night's Dark Terror, three, two years ago, where I built the uh, a river sort of barge for that and then we did war after Krong when I built the uh, sort of kill boat that I was using as their underwater boat last year we did the players ship we did that in a few parts and made some little mini ships and so this year well let's make another boat I could have used the the first ship I mentioned and then just did it as sort of flat 2d battle mats and printed those off and painted those up but I thought, let's go 3D, let's make this in a 3D thing and make it almost similar to how I make my modular houses where I can lift things up and what have you. And so I'm doing that, yeah. Uh, but the difficulty is here, as I said, I've got two days to do this. So this isn't going to be the most detailed, best looking build in the world. Uh, but I might return to this in the future and add to it so it's more of a challenge of what can i do within two days and that's not two full days either i work full time so i'm working uh, i have obviously a wife that i you know family life as it were that i have to get, need to deal with as well so it's not it's only a really technique adds up to a few hours and then we have to have paint drying time and glue drying time so yeah two days two days uh effectively almost eight hours i reckon in total uh can I do it? Yeah. How, would it look any good? Probably not, but it'll still look better than me just drawing something out by hand for the battle map. So let's see how this goes. We're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. So we're going to take some of uh, this foam, and this is soft uh, floor insulation foam perfect for this build is super cheap uh, and I'll be using this in future projects but first of all I'm going to work on the build because it's the simplest one and it's just a case of using what's in the book and measuring it out onto the uh, the foam I am going for the one inch grid here uh, so I'm just measuring out uh, the lengths and widths and what I'm going to need to cut out. So here, my ruler's 15 in inches. My ruler's only 12. So, yeah. But anyway, here's the uh, here's the mark. Once I got that measured out and cut out, I mean, I end up with a bit of foam like this. I'm just going to come in and measure a quarter of an inch in. This is effectively the wall area for this part. And then once I've got this done, I can come in and sort of add in the details. So the rear of the ship, I'm going to come in uh, a little bit and just take the measurements from the book, cut those in uh, here like this, and then also add in the quarter of the uh, inch as well, because this will be where the top part, the whole of the top part of the ship will rest upon. And now I've got to work out the... Uh, curve of this bit so I'm just going to measure in uh, I think it's two inches and then just roughly work it out by hand and once we've got it all drawn and measured we can cut all this out next planking uh, these are just going to be quarter of an inches apart so I'm just going to measure these out and score these in and I thought I would do it this way using uh, the uh, sculpting tool to add the grain in um, I think I did it for this one but then quickly just use a wire brush for and this foam, this sort of soft XPS foam takes the texture really well with a wire brush, so yeah. There is a mast, a single mast in the ship that the others will make out of this uh, dowel when I get to it. But this one is a quite a flat piece, so I'm just going to cut out a little disc of uh, chipboard to represent the mask at this lower level. And with that, we're done with the bilge. <laughs> The next deck is the hold and it's a similar process just cut out measure and cut out a piece out of the foam that sort of represents what is in the book come in and put the measurements for the back piece in in this case it's a bit more bendy it's three inches the bend angle starts from but it's the same process as the bilge which is why i wanted to do the bilge first it was a simpler piece and we can just repeat here just as per the book the front note 
a little bit different. I can't I don't think I can get away with the uh, by hand measurement I did with the bilge. So I'm going to just work out the measurements. The, uh, the sort of curving will begin at four inches. I'm going to use a uh, find the midway point here, and then find something circular that I can sort of trace around uh, to get this shape I want. The only thing I can find is this occasional table in the battling barrow turned upside down. Uh, what you're not seeing here, this is really awkward to <laughs> work around with the uh, centre leg getting in my way, but it works really well. Okay, we're going to cut that out, texture it, add planking in, and here's where I use the wire brush. Just way quicker and easier to get these uh, the wood grain. Of hey, what I'm doing now is the hole. This will have a hole because this will sit on top of the bilge underneath. Around the edge, just to hide the fact that it's sitting on something, I'm going to just measure a uh, a hole. And this will serve us in good stead for the next deck above because this one will just be a, a not very high one, just pretty much the thickness of the foam. So in this case, like a quarter of an inch. I'm just going to cut a strip of foam a quarter of an inch. But before we get carried away with gluing holes in, I need to cut in the uh, hatch entrance. So again, this is just taking the measurements from the book. Uh, I'm just going to cut a hole in. Now with that hole cut out, we can return to the uh, the hole. Uh, so here I'm just going to glue that stripping we cut out just now. And this foam bends surprisingly well, uh, so I can glue it into the front and then just cut a little notch off at an angle, so when the next bit comes in I can do the same and it will sort of fit together nicely, which is what I'm sort of doing here, let's see what we're doing here, and then glue that in place. And now we can return to the hatch with the square cut out, I can come into some chipboard and uh, make a hatch this is the frame of it and i'm going to say now i hated the way this looked and i'm going to return to it at some point get some granny grating and make the grate out of that so i will skip over this quite quickly texture it, it glue the frame in place and i'm going to come in with the strips of chipboard to act as the actual grate itself and yeah this looks horrible so I will be ripping this out and putting some granny grating in when I get it some crochet stuff but hey this got the job done for the adventure now this hold has some uh, rooms in so I'm just going to work out that the next part of the ship will be where I've got a little thin strip the next hole will be higher so I made it about an inch and a half inch and a quarter I think it was in the end and so these walls will have to match that and just be just shy of an inch or a quarter to give me wiggle room to put something on top so here I'm just doing a basic texture just to when it, when they're painting they've got something to look at and now it's just a case of transferring the wall dimensions from the book onto the foam cutting them out and adding the doors in. I'm not cutting holes for the doors. I am kind of just literally gluing a frame onto the foam itself. And that is how I'm doing the doors. The stair hatches are sort of a small, almost inch by inch room. And the stairs themselves are just going to be steps, like strips of chipboard glued into place to represent the stairs. And yeah, that is a room. Uh, that's how I'm doing the doors. And once you go through and add in all the walls, this is what it looks like. That grating is, please, please don't hate me for that grating. It's terrible. But yeah, that is the the, the uh, hold. Underneath is the bilge. And we can see here that it fits on top. Lovely. There's only one thing to do. And that's add the mast in. So that goes sort of, here where underneath we got that little disc on in the bilge part on the hole this is just a little cut in of dowel that acts as the mast so now we've done the bilge and the main deck uh the hold we can do the main deck which is made in exactly the same way as we've done before just cutting out but this has a wider hole around the edge so it's pretty much the same principle as the uh, hold 
with a strip of foam going around, but the strip of foam in this case is slightly higher and so it will sit on top of the hold underneath. I had to cut some holes in for the stairwell to come out to. We got that awful grate in and now we can add the walls in and the doors. I got even lazier with the doors here. I just glued strips of chipboard for the doors and no, where's the, no frame. This actually worked better in the game as well. The doors were sort of more noticeable, which is important when you're playing. And that's th that's the top main deck. Okay, for the upper decks, it's the rear and forward uh, decks that we're gonna be making. Techniques are exactly the same. The uh, floor has already been cut out following the same procedure that I did all the others. This is the front forward deck. This gets a strip that goes round like, pretty much like we've done before. It just gets folded around. Uh, hot glue is perfect for this because it dries quick. But even so, uh, I think this stage was the one where I wish I had forearms uh, just to add in bits and pieces. Uh, same principle here as what I did below. I'm going to angle off that point so the other bit can come in. Do some uh, the walls. Uh, this has uh, four doors going into it, uh, two going to some stairs, two going to cabins. Doors, again, just chipboard text plank textures up. These get glued into place and this will begin to form the uh, rear decking. Just working out dimensions and things here, but yeah, it's now just a case of repeating that process. Adding the walls in here, the awful grating that we've done on the main deck below, and we're just building our way up. These will get pulled off. So the difference here is the walls are from the deck below, and this is just an outer shell, outer hole, and a top deck that I can lift off to reveal the rooms below. And it's as simple as that. But how do we get up there? I've got this plastic ladder that I've had for a while, uh, and this is perfect. The length of it, if I chop it in half, it's the perfect height for both decks. So this one ladder will do me, uh, will do both decks. So uh, if you don't have something like this, I guess you can make this out of little balsa wood or matchsticks even. I'm just going to add some rails around uh, just for a bit of detail. We could leave it like this, but I want to add some rails around. Uh, so here is the, I'm just adding in here. This will add act as cover and uh, what have you. Next, going to take little strips of equal length, doesn't matter what length they are. These are going to be like the ladder runs that you use to access the, uh, the ship from a sort of jolly boat. And this is the uh, capstan. This is what uh, the anchor gets pulled up and down with. Here I'm just gluing two discs of MDF together to act as the main part. I've got a little smaller disc of MDF that I can glue it upon. These are, these are bases. Uh, the little smaller disc comes from the big ship build that I didn't use. And those little uh, spits there will be the handles that you'll use to pull, pull uh, turn it around so you just turn it around to get the anchor up and down these are just little barbecue skewers that I'm just going to glue onto the edges at the front of the ship I found a, a wood a wooden dowel that I glued into place and some other little bits and pieces from the big ship build that I didn't use there to give a bit of detail it's having a uh, cross beam added in here this is a barbecue skewer that I'm just cutting down to size and I will use the pointy end and then I will sort of uh, whistle away and add another pointy end here. And that will get glued into place. And it's just the mast time now. But for this, for the top mast, I'm going to cheat and use this mast from a previous build. It's magnetic. So all I've got to do really is just add a magnet and a sort of bit of detail at the base of it here to hold it into place. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. For this, I'm just gonna use the hot glue gun just to melt a hole uh, into the foam from where the magnet will go. Magnet gets put into place. And I'm just gonna add some bits around it just to also help steady it. 
because this foam is very very flexible so uh, even with this thing the foam is flexing and falling over I just glued these bits in again these are just MDF bits from my uh, big ship build that was left over that I didn't use of course you can use anything chipboard cardboard foam but yeah just gluing that in and with that that is the top decks done <laughs> Painting, as one would expect, is going to be very brown as it's wood. Uh, I'm just going to undercoat it all in brown paint. If you like, you can add some Mod Podge to this. I don't bother with that anymore. I don't see it gives you any benefit, really. It doesn't really protect the foam any more than just painting it wood. But how come? That is just my opinion. Next, I just want to come in and do some dry brushing and figure out, you know, the bilge the hold and the crew cabin is going to be a bit more crudely painted like it's worn so I'm just dry brushing this taupe over the floors here they're not going to be as pretty as say the officers rooms and cabins the upper deck I dry brushed it this brown first but I will change my mind later on and go for a more yellow brown and then with the floors basically in place you can add some washes on some of them to change the colour I want each room to be sort of different so you can players can really see they are in a separate room uh, when it was all brown it just blended into one so that's what I'm doing here I'm just going around doing some various watered down washes and what have you uh, the reason I'm not going over the painting too much because I change my mind constantly so I can start showing you the beginning part of the clip by the end it's going to be different so I'm just giving you the rough ideas there's dry brushing the browns washes of browns and over brushes of brown uh, things like the uh, capstan and the uh, front bit I can't remember what it's called my brain's gone dead but yeah all this sort of stuff here this will get painted a snake bright brown again browns this is a very brown build and yeah so now I've decided to paint the outer deck in a yellow color the back inner deck in here which is the offices cabinets a nice rich brown and the doors are going to be snake bite leather to make them really stand out that they're doors so they don't blend into the walls so that's what I'm doing here and with that the painting's pretty much done there's not a big deal to it just paint it whatever brown you want <laughs> Oh, 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 I realised I had extra time. Not enough time to get rid of that blooming grazing. That will be for a future thing. But I had some extra time due to the game not taking part when I thought it was. So that gave me not a lot of extra time, but a little bit. I just recently watched a film and it showed the ca a captain's cabin. And the captain's cabin was uh, wood panelled with horizontal panelling and a cream car. So at the back here on these offices rooms I'm just adding in a bit more detail to the walls as they're you know, as rightly they should they're the officers so I'm adding in this uh, horizontal planking and I'm just gonna paint the uh, the walls a uh, cream color and I'm doing it badly here yeah so what I decided to do now is I like this like look at this but we can make it better by adding in some rigging here so I just got this twine I'm just gonna glue into place like so this will also help strengthen this crossbeam here, which is glued on, and if you knock it, it could potentially fall off. So I'm going to glue it on, wrap it round a few times, and then glue it, pull it taut, and then glue it into place on the uh, deck in here. Okay, now some final detailing. The description says the upper decking has coils of rope, so I'm just making some coils of rope. Now, to, so it's got something to adhere to, something to glue it to. Just going to cut out this disc of foam that I'm going to angle like so. Come in with some glue and then just curl some twine round. And just keep going until you've got a coil of rope. I'm not going to glue these into place because uh, after this I can use these for town scatter. and Well, boat scatter for different boats. Once I've got this done... I am calling it done myself so we can actually have a look at it. Okay, we're going to do something different for the grand reveal. I'm not going to really show you it as such. We'll have a look at a few different pieces as we go along. But we're going to sort of take it apart and uh, 
talk over the uh, reveal as it were, showing you each of the decking bits. So this is the decking um, as it stands. We have these little, little rope things here. We can reuse those. The awful grating still got to get rid of that. But yeah, this is how it looks like from here. And what we can do is we can come in and we can take away this here to reveal the captain's area here and we can come in remove this to get the uh, these sort of decks and rooms here and we're still left with a very playable area we can get rid of the the mast here that's in the way and yeah so next what I thought we go down these holes here are here we can lift it up to reveal the hold deck this is the deck here and this just has those rooms along here that you can see And then if we go down into this area here, we've got the final piece here, this. But yeah, that is pretty much the ship uh, built. Really want to take the time to say thanks for watching. You can see this in action in the Seagrass actual play and just how well it actually worked. This is not bad for like a couple of days build. Obviously, if you spend more time, you can make this look spectacular and brilliant. But for what I wanted to use it for and how it played, really pleased we've had the outcome of this. I'll probably use this ship in the future for if players board another vessel. This is what I'll use. But yeah, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing and liking, and if you haven't done all that, do it now. Hit that like button, leave a comment, let me know uh, how badly that greeting looked, because that looked terrible. But that's it for this video guys, until the next one, stay safe, take care, bye bye bye.